Hi, I'm Andrew Armstrong, and welcome to the back office teardown lab. It's all, it's all getting a bit rude in here, a bit filthy, a bit dirty. I'm going to have to clean up my workbench at some point, but that time is not now because now is the time. Now is the winter of our incontents. Incontents. Um, this is a mirror off a vehicle, and that's you know fascinating. I'm sure you're going. Mm yeah hi hi guys um but it has an interesting feature so i want to get to it and I'll, I'll, I'll sort of work my way towards that it seems interesting because i noticed i noted that it has these wires which you go fine that's just for like a heater you know some of these have a heater so in the winter they can demist themselves but look at this connector that connector is a little bit different because it, apparently it's for the self dimming so this is a, a sort of mirror that can I'd say, I don't know if dimming is the right word but the idea is that if you've got um, a bit of uh, a car behind you with the high beams on this is the sort of mirror apparently that it can sort of dim itself or, or I suppose it, it's based on a signal from the car it'll somehow dim the, the screen I just want to take this part off it though I think you'll think why am I fiddling with this um, because the these cars um, need this part off it because it's uh, this isn't part of the mirror this is part of the actual car and uh, that part needs to be salvaged so the car can be repaired and you can see there's actually a bit of a broken part of that uh, but it's one of those crazy designs this is a um, I think BMW designed part and of course BMW being BMW have ensured that it's like the most impossible thing to remove from your vehicle. Let's forget about that. We'll leave that to later. I'm just going to show you the other side because <laughs> I didn't want to go through this side, but we're going to have to. Um, if I can remove some of this glass, you like how I said that glass rather than glass. Uh, there's a possibility we can sort of try to see what's going on with this chromium chrome chromatically adjustingness of it all oh it's well dangerous i think what i'm going to do though is probably do a jump cut because i'm gonna to have to just smash this all up outside so i can get it off in little pieces smashing glass was not a viable option so i've decided to take the spludger to it first and just as a science note i did try some of this uh polarizing filter and i didn't see anything going on with that so there's no inherent LCD-ness about the sort of glass as it stands. I know it's smashed up, but the pieces themselves don't appear to be sort of polarized in any particular way right now. Just working my way around with this. It's almost as if it's not designed to be uh, dismantled, which is odd. Ah, oh, yeah, look at that. That is some fine spludgeon. I kind of wonder if a spludger hit you with enough force, you see how I'm like using quite a lot of force? I'm wondering how bad it would hurt you. I'm suspecting it's going to hurt you a lot. I want to kind of take it gentle here. That's our wire. Come on. I think it's there's definitely a layer of adhesive because it's the heater. But I don't know if that's what's keeping this bezel on. A bit wary of this piece of glass here. I was contemplating putting gloves on, but then I was wondering to myself, does that mean you'll take more care or less care doing something like this if you know that you're going to definitely cut yourself? Ah, oh, it's so. Okay. No, I think I really will have to do a more serious jump cut now. This isn't going to come apart in any sensible way. Not the eyes! Not in the eyes! So much glassy goodness.
Ah, oh, so much glass and so many naked wrists near it. Gotta watch yourself here. Gotta watch yourself here, boy. Mmm, safe. It does look, though, actually, looking at it, I think I figured it out. You've got something at the back which does look like just regular glass. And if you see that, a clear, a clear lens, which would have been, I think, would have been filled with a jus. A jus chromatique. A jus chromatique. I'm trying to think, though, what materials could you put a current through that will make them go dark? That's probably what this contained. Urgh, almost there. Almost there. So much for our careful spludging. We needed the uh, back office spludger here. And it's a real tool. It's not a screwdriver. I've sharpened it using a, a grinder. Look how sharp that is. Back office heavy duty spludgers. Available now. www.backofficetrailer.com Back office accepts no liability for damage to the <laughs> damage to the user by the use of this tool. Its intended use is harmful to both operator and object. Ah, oh, yeah, nearly there. This is frightfully scary. Don't do this at home, by the way. Never do this. This is just. I uh, can hear it screaming. Fortunately, it's screaming, not me right now. Oh, we're almost there. So close, look at that, so close. Maybe, if I just get in here with my little knee, I can just, look, gently, gently slide this along the gluey tendrils. That's their technical term. And uh, it might release. I'm not gonna put my hand there though, because glass can perforate that. That's the uh, heater, heater matrix. It's so cool. I'm hoping. Well, I'm, saying, I'm hoping it's still intact. Um, electrically intact. Ah, oh, glass is getting fired up all over my... Oh, it's in my lap now. I've got a piece of glass in my lap. Do not scratch crotch. Note to self. Never scratch the crotch. Oh, look, you can see. It's got those little bugs in there. Little fireflies. Little buggers. They get everywhere. I'll sh we'll zoom in on some fireflies later. I think that's what they were called. Maybe I'm, no, Thunderflies, not Fireflies. I'm thinking of a TV show there. Ugh. Almost there. Yes. Yes. We're there. Come on. Stab it. Back of his show tool. Look at that. The spl spludger acts as a knife or prison shiv. You could make these in prison, actually, if, you've, if you're in prison and you've got access to shiving components there oh, we yeah. go woo ah phew I wonder what this bloody thing was being held in so difficultly difficultishly by mm. right now I've got to be still careful with this because of course it's still attached to actual glass on the back but looking here now at the wires so we've got one wire the black wire which is a bit potted is running around to here and then we've got a purple wire and it's running around running around the air and I can see here definitely some electrical conductors electrical conductors now let's see if there's any um, conductivity left in this because that could be a bit of fun if it if it if there is I might soak this in well uh, look I don't think it is actually though maybe he's dead he's dead boss and there's no conductivity through this, of course, because its medium would have been that liquid. So, I'm just going to try to peel this away, the final part of the frame. I don't know, does that count as recycling or regular bin rubbish? I think it's regular bin rubbish. So let's have a look-see. The camera's probably going to get freaked out by all this mirror glass, but you can see here, here's the wire, and it comes up around here, and there's a series of conductive elements. And they're starting from here, and they're working their way all the way around there. So it's starting at the top, of course. And then the black wire is coming to the bottom, which is doing the same. So I'm just going to turn it at an angle, and you might not be able to quite see this, so you're going to have to take my word for it, because the camera is probably 
not going to want to focus but see there between me thumb and index finger there's two two layers and indeed that metal conductor is in that inner layer in it right there so it's sealed in so the two this is the uh, I'm going to do it with my hand demonstrate my hand this one's glass this one's the mirror and it's it's sort of a pocket like that and you'll notice if you see the glass that it is curved it's ever so slightly curved so it's a it's an envelope like that and inside the middle is a liquid and I don't know what that liquid is but it is changing its uh, nature when through the application of current so it's becoming darker so the idea is when the uh, light probably from the inside of your car you know, the, the the rear view mirror in the inside car sees that light on its photo sensors it dims automatically and it puts a current to these and these dim automatically to be honest it's all a bit of a faff um, a replacement lens for this with this technology costs 150 pounds to buy it so if you smash that it's 150 pounds uh, the standard glass is something like 10 pounds so uh, I kind of don't think it's necessarily worth that extra money but to you maybe it is if, if it really works if you've got a car though that has this and really works just let me know because I've had cars before which have the auto dimming in the um, inside you know it has a button that says auto and a little green LED comes on but I've never really noticed if it works or not I mean I, I guess I have never noticed if it gets any glare but I always think that when you turn the ignition on and the light if you as soon as you turn your lights on they all go a bit dimmer I think I think that's what it does I don't think it's adaptive or anything so please comment down below hope it's been of some use to you as ever thank you for watching Oh yeah, and don't break one of these yourself because that's seven years bad luck.